All right, yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today we're doing a pretty fun casual video, but also an informative one. We're going we're gonna to be going over all of the vanities released in the Pokemon 2022 Halloween event. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be slowly revealing them in that bottom left-hand corner of the screen. That little white sliver is my notepad document where I have them all listed. I have them all. I'm going to be rating them all on a scale of 1 to 10. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first. The Paladin Shield. The Paladin's Shield. I can actually put it on my back real quick. I have it in my, my item. This is actually an untradeable one. So this is the only untradeable vanity. So I had to get it for this video. This is rewarded for defeating the Pump King. I think it looks really freaking good, honestly. Uh, it's a little... I don't know what outfits it'll go with. Honestly, the it looks really good with the torch. I haven't even seen like any people try that, I guess, yet. Um, I really like it. I think it's a really good vanity. Like I, I always like shields type stuff. I like the shape of the shield. It comes up to a point. Untradeable. I like untradeable vanities a ton. Uh, giving this out of 10 is really tough. I definitely am leaning like eight or nine. The question is where at on that? Maybe like 8.5 or so. I feel like I've got to give it a nine. I think the Paladin's shield starts off strong. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually give it a nine out of 10. All right. Yeah, that's the first one. Paladin's shield. Pretty cool in my opinion. Moving on to the second second one not like that let's go ahead and do this the green cthulhu mask so you can actually see that i am actually wearing the purple cthulhu mask so that might give you an idea of what i think of the green cthulhu mask the cthulhu masks i'll actually just do them both at the same time the cthulhu masks are the um the gift shop items they are the gift shop vanities for this event they're currently going for 1500 rp although they have gone down a lot in price i'm actually really shocked to see it seems like people don't really like them the green cthulhu mask currently sitting at 3.15 mil and the purple currently sitting at around 3.2 at the time of recording usually gift shop items usually hold a value of around 4 mil at least for a while uh on release of events like this so kind of surprising to see them tank so hard and i guess it's because it's because rp is also really cheap but rp usually goes down when people don't like the items so i'm kind of surprised by this i feel like people don't like them i really like them i'm not usually a huge fan of like quote unquote edgy type vanities but i feel like these are actually just like cool um and not too edgy i prefer the purple one heavily because i just like purple the color a lot more even the wings of the color are cool i think this one's probably more traditional to thulu but i think this one's more interesting plus i think the red eyes look a lot better on the purple head background which i think is an important point of note but i'm gonna give these i'm gonna give the purple one i think it's pretty similar to the paladin's shield but i think it's less flexible than the paladin's shield is is the main issue i think i also have to give this a 9 out of 10 but i'm gonna give the green one a 7 out of 10 which is a pretty stark contrast so 7 out of 10 on the green one 9 out of 10 on the purple one let's go ahead and move on to the next item the shinigami robes now i haven't seen these too much now we're going to be going on the GTL for a ton of these. The Shinigami robe. So the cheapest Shinigami robe now is 300k at the time of recording. It's tough to see with all my stuff on my character as well. It's essentially... Here, let's go ahead and hide hat. There we go. It seems to be some sort of black and white type of kimono or type of robe. I really... I feel like in theory... In theory, I like the Shinigami robe. But I actually don't think it turns out super well in game. The issue is I think most body... Vanities are just kind of boring in Pokemon. I'm not a huge fan of most of the body vanities. I would love to see more drastic body vanities like we've gone with the, the helmets and the heads and the hair and everything like that. So the Shinigami robe is kind of tough. I like it in theory. I feel like I want to give it like a six, six or seven out of 10. I think I got to go six, unfortunately. I think I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it just didn't really turn out as well as I would have liked. Um, I think it, I, I wish, I wish it was a little more drastic, I guess, in my opinion, but anyways, moving on to the next, the next one, which is going to be the bones uniform. So the bones, there's a bones uniform and a bones cap. We'll do, we'll do the, the, the pairs of items at the same time. So we'll do the, uh, we'll do the bones uniform and the bones hat. Let's bring both of those up right now. Pretty cheap items, if I'm not mistaken. Bones cap, 140k. Okay, I like the bones cap. I also haven't really thought about my rating for a lot of these uh, ahead of time. I'm kind of just doing it live. Bones uniform. Oh my goodness, I do not like this at all. Let me let me bring this up and hide the hat. I don't like the bones uniform. I don't... I, I feel like this isn't a uniform. I usually like uniforms that have like these like short shorts, but I don't like it on this one specifically. I don't think it's like part of... The, I don't think it works. Uh, or maybe it's just a one piece and that's like my bottom. I'm not sure. 
I'm not, I do not, I don't, don't like the Bones uniform. I really don't, unfortunately. That's brutal. I feel like I have to give the Bones uniform like a 2 or a 3 out of 10. I really, really don't like it. The Bones cap, however, a solid 7 to 8. Here, let's give, let's give the uniform, unfortunately, like a 2 out of 10. I really don't like it, uh, but I can see some uses. Bones cap is, I really like how it's just two big circles like that. This is a tough one. I want to give Bones Cap either a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I'll go with 7 for now. Maybe we'll come back to it. I like it. I think it's a little, little cute, little goofy. Definitely not a bad vanity. Moving on to the next item, the Iron Hero Costume. Now, I think this is some sort of... Let's just check it out. The Iron Hero Costume. I also may not have... I might not have the best uh, default avatar to go alongside <laughs> this sort of... These sort of testing of the vanities. I think this is like an Iron Man. Yeah, this is an Iron Man thing. I, but I don't think it looks great, unfortunately. And unfortunately, I wish the I wish the middle part was more like glowing or had some extra like features. I think the fact that it's just like a white dot in the middle is pretty weak. Um, it's, it's pretty weak, right? You know, it's, I think it's hard to argue that. I feel like the white dot in the middle is pretty, 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 pretty weak. Um... It sucks because I actually usually enjoy Iron Man looking outfits to some extent. There's an Iron Man looking outfit in Terraria, which is hilarious if you know that game. That looks really good in my opinion. Like that outfit actually looks incredible. I don't like this. I'm trying to think. I feel like this is a 3 out of 10 for me, unfortunately. I don't... But once again, I think I'm just uh, not a huge fan of most of the bodies in Pokemon. I think most of the bodies just don't look great and don't turn out great, but... Yeah, 30k for that vanity. Really cheap vanity though, so that is the benefit. Now onto the Hellcat hood and the Hellcat costume. Once again, another sort of outfit that goes together. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this one as well. The Hellcat costume. Let's check it out. Honestly, oh, it's Incineroar, right? Is this is this in, or like Litten? It depends on the um the hood. I think it says Lit Litten. I don't know if I don't remember if Incineroar is. No, I think it's Incineroar. I think this is based on Incineroar, right? It's either based on Incineroar or Litten, I assume. Um, interesting. I don't like the hat at, at all. I think the hat looks really silly. Uh, maybe it's just because of my pink afro peeking out, but I, I really don't like the hat. Unfortunately. Actually, I actually surprisingly, on this one, I actually surprisingly like the costume more than the hat, which pretty much never happens uh, from, my, from my ratings, at least. I'm pretty surprised by that. Uh, currently the costume is going for 70k, the hood's also going for around 70k, or no, sorry, excuse me, 52k for the costume, and then the cheapest hood looks like 70k or so, 64k. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna give the costume, I actually kind of like this costume. I'm kind of surprised. I want to give like a 6, I think a 6 out of 10, even though I kind of like it, it's still a 6 out of 10. I think, yeah, I think it's on equal footing with the Shinigami robe, I think that's super fair. The hood, however... I'm actually going to give the hood a 4, because I think there's potential for someone to make some sort of outfit that I could enjoy it on. But the hood alone, I don't enjoy the hood without an outfit. I feel like the hood definitely needs some sort of outfit to make it shine. Alright, anyways, moving on. The superhero costume, which I think is literally just like Superman. Superman costume, lol. Let's look up super... Is there a space? Superhero... Yep, space. Superhero costume. Really cheap, 25k. I'm not a huge Superman fan at all. Um, the textures on this are, I feel like there's a lot more that could go into the pixel art in Pokemon. I feel like this is once again, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed. I, the shield looks incredible. Like, I think like looking at, like, look at, compare, compare the superhero costume to the shield pixelation. This pixel art on the shield is so good. And look at the pixel art on the superhero costume. What is even in the middle? It looks like a P. With the yellow circle, like, but I don't know. I had it looks not great in my opinion. Um, I, I feel like it's a dud. I feel like I give it like three out of ten because it's almost so good. It's almost so bad that it's good. Like it's funny. I feel like I give it three out of ten for humor reasons. All right, now we're actually getting to the good vanities, folks. Don't worry. The vanities that people are overwhelmingly enjoying. Let's go ahead and move the notepad document up. The Bone Club and the Skull Helmet. These are two of the coolest vanities. It's hard to deny, man. The Bone Club is just... It's Marowak's head and Marowak's bone. So that's what the Bone Club looks like. Pretty simple, but I think a really nice touch. I think it's simple but elegant. Definitely a huge fan. Skull Helmet. Let's look for. 380k at the moment. Dude, look at that. I mean, 
once again, man, I try not to float towards the edgy stuff. I, I usually am more of a goofy looking guy. I, I prefer, someone said this yesterday in my stream, and I fully agree with this. I think looking goofy is so much more enjoyable than looking like edgy or trying to be like so cool in like a video game's vanity outfit. Um, I think I, I'm, a, I'm a goofy guy. I don't know. I, I like the I like the goofy look. I like the goofy look a lot more, but pretty cool. Can't deny that this is pretty cool. Just the red eyes, the shading on like the backside of the she the shell, the the, the the what's it called? The skull. Um, and like on the horn, like, I don't know, the shading and the shadows look really, really good in my opinion. Once again, compare the pixel art on the skull helmet to the superhero costume. I feel like certain things just get so much more love is what it really comes down to, honestly. So the skull helmet, fantastic. Like the skull, okay, let's rate these out of 10. The bone club, I actually really like the bone club. I think it's like pretty underrated. I think it's not getting enough love. It's like eight to nine out of 10 question is which one i'm gonna give the bone club an 8 out of 10 i think and the skull helmet dude the skull helmets like might be a 10 out of 10 for me it's super good i think it is i think the, i think the skull helmet is a 10 out of 10 fantastic vanity so there you go that's the first 10 out of 10 of the video moving on we've got the shadow skull helmet and the shadow bone club so these are the two ultra rare vanities of the, of the event these are the last two vanities of the event and the two ultra rare vanities so these are the expensive ones and they're expensive for a reason because they're essentially just cooler versions to some extent actually i don't i don't we'll see how i rate them uh, a lot of people see them as just cooler versions of the skull helmet and the bone club and wow look at look how well the shadow skull matches the uh, i think it's the team rocket uniform that i have on that matches really well in my opinion like the purple the purple, like grayish purple on the Shadow Skull, I think matches the Team Rocket uniform very, very well. That's actually so cool. So there's the Shadow Skull helmet. Um, I actually, crazy take maybe here, you can let me in the comments down below what your thoughts are and rate all the rate all these vanities by yourself. I actually think that I prefer the Skull helmet over the Shadow Skull helmet, which is crazy because I usually love the purples. I love like the cyan eyes. I usually love that sort of thing so, so very much. But I actually think that I... Yeah, I think that I prefer, um, let me make this smaller so you guys can see a little bit better. I think I actually prefer the original Skull Helmet more than the Shadow Skull, like for sure. Kind of, kind of a crazy take, you know, a lot of people might disagree with that, but I think that's where I stand. Let's go ahead and show you guys the Shadow Bone Club before I rate them both. Shadow Bone Club, the most expensive vanity at the moment in the entire event. This glowing, I mean, how could you, it's pretty cool um it's pretty cool but it's better than the bone club for sure but i don't think it's perfect for me i think it's just like i don't know something about i don't know if it's too small or if the it's because the flames don't really move i, I think that's what it is honestly i think i wish the flames were more fluid i think that's actually my biggest critique of the shadow bone club still an incredible vanity gonna give it a nine out of ten so the Shadow Bone Club, in my opinion, is better than the original Bone Club. But the Shadow Skull Helmet, I'm actually going to give an 8 out of 10, unfortunately. That's just my personal opinion. I think the original Skull Helmet looks better. Um, I would honestly probably do some mix of, like, original Skull Helmet plus Shadow Bone Club or something if I were to do some sort of uh, cosmetic or vanity costume fitting. That's what's up, Deku? <laughs> Deku Suda. Thanks for joining me and copying the fit. Yeah, those are my ratings. Those are the vanities. We saw the prices. We rated them. Let me know what you guys' ratings are in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about all the new vanities. Um, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Pokemon content and daily Pokemon content covering the Pokemon Halloween event. Check out the Discord link down below if you want to join a really cool community and just see the candy callouts and just have a lot of information going into this event. You can also support the channel and go above and beyond if you want to for five bucks a month by becoming a YouTube member for five bucks a month, dropping a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub over on my Twitch, or most importantly, just just throwing me a couple bucks in my PayPal or Venmo if my content has earned it. Never ever do that if you feel pressured. Only ever support me if you feel like my content has either A, given you enough hours of entertainment, or B, helped you during your Pokemon journey enough to warrant it. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate your time. Have a great day, and I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am during the Pokemon Halloween event.